Welcome to the latest stories that are making headlines in Uganda today and uh, this is the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo aka Fula. So yesterday, President Museveni addressed the nation again about the state of affairs in Uganda a week after he did the same. And uh, very many people, especially on the internet, were happy that maybe this time around he was going to say something more serious than what he had communicated before. But unfortunately, the big man's address was mostly focused on the long-term solutions of the problems that we are facing right now as a country. And uh, many Ugandans are saying that President Museveni's advisors need to wake up from sleep and uh, advise him on the right thing to do. I don't know what you make of President Museveni's address yesterday, but personally, I think we needed to hear more solutions than he communicated in regards to the high cost of living right now in the country. Well, in other news, uh, President Museveni yesterday sworn in DP President General Nobat Mao as Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs at a brief function held at State House in Tebe. Uh, Nobat Mao was accompanied by a number of close family members who witnessed the function. The ministry has been under temporary stewardship of uh, Muruli Mukasa, the Minister of Public Service. I, Nobat Mao, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Uganda and that I'll preserve, protect and defend the Constitution. So help me God. Hello, Beatrice Hakori. Swear in the name of Almighty God that I will be faithful. So help me God. Now, President Museveni said Nobat Mao has got individual qualities as a leader, which he had been watching for a long time. Of course, Mao has got his individual qualities as a leader, which I have been watching for a long time. But more importantly, this is the first attempt by patriots to unite the people of Uganda politically. The Mao is different from Beatrice Akero. Akero is the youth league of NRM coming up, the young people coming up. Mao, it is my old efforts, our old, our old efforts of uniting Uganda. Well, in other news, Police in Bale has arrested another man who attempted to cut off a police officer's head at a checkpoint yesterday. Uh, this incident happened on Bale Tirinyi Highway last evening. The suspect is currently held at Bale Central Police Station as investigations continue. This attack comes two days after Machete Welders attacked and killed a police officer and injured another in Luero District. We are going on with the investigation to establish the motive of this a young man. And in this respect, we want also to commend the locals because the, local, the, the locals were, uh, were crucial in this incident because they saw this man with a pang emanating from this artificial forest which is just near. So they had also to come in and inform our officers. And by the time this man confronted them, they were already alert and they were in position to uh, uh, to arrest him. Of course, we have also to commend our officers because in this respect, they were supposed even to release uh, or to injure this man, but he did not sustain any injuries or there is no enabler that was uh, fired 
and this man was arrested very well. So that kind of collaboration between the Wanainchi and us security, I think it will be a crucial thing to see that we uh, prevent uh, such incidents from happening. Well, that's the latest news making headlines this morning. And of course, it's a brand new day. You expect more stories coming in. And uh, what you have to do, just keep it right here on uh, the Buzz UG. But most importantly, subscribe in case you haven't. And uh, also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you.